Hey everyone, Ben here and welcome to Motivation to Invest. In this video, I'm going to reveal the top six stocks in Peter Thiel's investment portfolio. So who is Peter Thiel? Well, Peter Thiel is a billionaire investor. He was the co-founder of PayPal along with the legendary Elon Musk. He was one of the first investors into Facebook. So we actually invested $500,000 in 2004 into Facebook, which you can see in the movie, The Social Network. And that, of course, multiplied into billions upon billions of dollars and actually meant that Peter Thiel owned 2.5% of the company. Now, of course, Peter Thiel is part of the original PayPal mafia, along with Elon Musk, Reid Hoffman of LinkedIn, the founders of YouTube, and many, many more. So this guy is truly one of the most intelligent people on this planet when it comes to investing, and he's made some great investments in the past. So in this video, I'm going to reveal the top six stocks in his founder's fund. So be sure to stick around till the end of this video, guys, and I think you'll like what I've got for you. And before we get right into it, if you do want more investing tips and exclusive stock market picks, of which I'm personally investing into, then why not join the investing family by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. And as all YouTubers tend to say these days, go ahead and smash that like button if you do find any value at all in this video. And with that being said, let's dive in. First stock on my list, I'm gonna do a countdown. Stock number six on my list is Facebook, of course. Peter Thiel is one of the early stage investors into this company, and he's seen fantastic returns on his original $500,000 investment. In terms of the scale of these returns, the returns Peter Thiel actually made from investing into Facebook in 2004 actually outperformed all the other returns of all the other stocks in his portfolio. He calls this the 80-20 rule of investing. But yeah, quick overview of Facebook. Sales growth over the last period, 47%, which is fantastic, considering the company has a market cap of over $700 billion. Revenues of $115 billion. Return on capital, ridiculously high of 25%. So a good return on capital is around 12%. Return on capital, 25%. P ratio 23, price sales nine. So I think really Facebook stock has increased a little bit recently, but still definitely a fantastic company for the long term. Okay, onto stock number five. Now this is a stock I've covered many times before in this channel, but I'm gonna cover it again because it's a very interesting company. And that is Palantir, ticker symbol PLTR. So this is a big data software company founded by Alex Karp, who I found out recently by reading Peter Thiel's book that he was actually a law school friend of Peter Thiel. So very interesting combination there. Shows he has a very close connection with this founder. So this is a big data company and it was originally backed by the CIA. Now some more interesting information I found out about, the, about this company recently. So I read Peter Thiel's book called Zero to One and basically inside that book there's a paragraph and it basically said Palantir software was rumored to help track down Osama bin Laden. Now although we can't comment on if this is true or not, we can say that it's a combination of technology and great people which help to track down this terrorist. Hey, terrorist! Terrorize this. And thus, this all makes complete sense as one of Palantir's major customers is the Pentagon. They're also involved in the UK government, the NHS, which is the National Health Service in the UK, Airbus, Fiat Chrysler, and many, many more large corporations. And there's a little interesting side note for you guys. I also found this heat map, which Palantir developed of attacks on US troops in Afghanistan. So it's clear Palantir has some major connections in the world of government, in the world of defense, and now they're expanding that into the business and commercial world. And the company actually went public in 2020. So this is why it gives us investors a chance to potentially invest into this incredible company. Now, if I dive into the valuation model here, so this is available in the stock research platform, which you can check out guys in the first link in the description below where you get access to all the stocks I've been researching, real deep dive analysis. But in this analysis I've done here, I've predicted a 45% growth rate for the next year and then 40% for the next two to five years, which is very conservative considering this company is growing around 60 to 80% per year at the moment. And I get an estimated value per share for this company of around $20 per share. So for me personally, if the stock is $20 per share or below, that is when I consider it a good buy for Palantir stock. Now, this is not financial advice, guys. This is just from a valuation I've done. And of course, things may change with the company in the short term. So if you do want up-to-date and live information, be sure to check out that first link in the description below. 
Right, onto stock number four on my list is Airbnb, ticker symbol ABNB. Now, Airbnb is one of those companies, fantastic company, disruptive company, which is disrupting the entire hotel industry. Of course, the travel industry as a whole has been majorly affected, but it's also set to rebound massively and basically go to the moon during 2021 when things are expected to reopen across the world. Now, Airbnb actually decided to go public in 2020 also during the major bull run. And this was a very exuberant IPO. I actually did a video on this and I basically did a full valuation of Airbnb and I stated it was massively overvalued. So I personally didn't invest in the company at the IPO and I'm so glad I didn't. So the stock just after the IPO actually plummeted from $200 per share, which is just crazy to minus 40% down. Now it is still down at the moment, but it has started to bounce back slightly. Market cap, $89.86 billion. So very interesting company it is down from its highs at the moment. If I dive into the valuation here, this is on Stockopedia. It's still a massively unprofitable company. So the company is currently burning through losses of over $5 billion per year. So that's the major risk of Airbnb. They do have a strong enough balance sheet to maintain themselves through this growth stage. But yeah, the valuation is still quite high. The price of sales are 27. I personally love this company, but the valuation for me is just a little bit too spicy right now. So maybe I'll wait for that to cool down even more so. Okay, on to stock number three on my list is Twilio, ticker symbol TWLO. Again, from 2020, if we go up here, the stock is up 100% year to date. I did recommend this stock last year, so congratulations to those of you guys which did invest. The stock has had a little correction down now, down around 20%. Could be a potential buying opportunity. I did do a video on this previously, which you guys might want to check out. I'll link to that in the description below. So this is basically a leading cloud communications platform provider. And here's some inside information for you guys, which I know you like on this channel, Motivation to Invest. Amazon has actually invested into Twilio. So, so its founder run, the CEO owns 4% of the company. Bailey and Gifford, fantastic company, one of the original Tesla investors owns 2%. Arc Invest owns 1%, Amazon owns 1% of the company. So they have high customer retention, so their customers are staying with the platform and actually spending more. Hopping into my valuation model, my valuation for this company is $195 per share. That's my buy point for this stock. The stock's valuation is looking a little bit juicy right now, so this is one you may want to keep an eye on. I do own shares in the company and I'm holding my shares since I already own them in the business. Stock number two is SpaceX. Now this is a private company, but there are rumors that Starlink could be going public very, very soon. Now I did a full video analyzing SpaceX and four ways to invest into SpaceX now, rather than waiting for part of the company to actually go public. So to find out more about that, I'll link to it in the description below. Okay, finally, stock number one on my list, which is part of Peter Thiel's portfolio, is a firm. So ticker symbol AF. RM. So this is an extremely interesting company. And now this was actually founded by Max Levchin, who was also one of the original PayPal founders. So he's a great buddy of Peter Thiel's and he's one of the original PayPal Mafia. A firm is a financial fintech company. And basically when you do some online shopping and you try to buy, let's say a really expensive product, a firm will offer you the opportunity to actually pay for the product in installment. So it's a really unique technology. I can see that as a major advantage for both the customer, as you can just pay a little bit over time rather than having to pay a lot in one go. And also a major advantage for the shops, for the businesses, as that will increase their sales. And of course, this company will benefit from actually providing that value to both these services. But remember guys, volatility can equal opportunity. And when stocks are down, that means they're a little bit cheaper. So this again could be a potential buying opportunity for a firm. I've not done a deep dive valuation, but um, I did briefly mention it at this point here when it was $48. So it's up 27% since then. Still down from its highs though. So again, guys, could be a potential opportunity for you guys to check out. Really interesting company again. Trading at quite a high valuation. Price of sales of 34 um, it is unprofitable. It's an unprofitable growth company. Sales growth has been fantastic though. So sales growth 66%. So this is a high growth company, but a lot higher risk than the other companies I've mentioned on this list. So that's the top six stocks and Peter Thiel's founders fund. Now, if you guys do want access 
to all the stocks in my portfolio and know exactly when I'm buying stocks, when I'm selling stocks, and get access to all my stock research and valuation models, then feel free to check out that first link in the description below for the VIP membership group or our ultimate investing course. And I'll actually leave you guys a special coupon code down there where you can get $10 discount. And believe me, guys, this is extremely great value for what you get. So if that's something you're interested in, now could be a fantastic time to join the investing family. And if you guys did find any value in this video at all, feel free to give it a big thumbs up that helps out tremendously with the channel. And with that being said, I hope you guys all have a tremendous day and I'll see you in my next video. Invest safe.